yeah. which are entered into thine house. For they may be come to search out all the country. Mm -hmm. The woman took the two men and hid them and said to thus, There came men unto me, but I wist or no, not whence they were. <coughs> and it came to pass about the time of the shutting of the gate. When it was dark that the men went out, whether the men went, I know not. Mm -hmm. Pursue after them quickly, for you shall overtake them. Right. But she had brought them up to the roof of the house, mm -hmm. hid them with the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order upon the roof. Mm -hmm. And the men pursued after them the way to Jordan, unto the fords. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they which pursued after them were gone out, they shut the gate. Mm -hmm. And behold, they were laid down. And before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon the roof. Mm -hmm. huh? No hanky panky. <laughs> <laughs> and she said unto the men, I know that the Lord hath given you the land, and that your terror is fallen upon us, and that all inhabitants of the land think because of you. Mm -hmm. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for yes, us. When you came out of Egypt, and what you did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Simon and Ab, whom you utterly destroyed. Yes, sir. And as soon as we had heard these things, mm -hmm. our hearts did melt. Yes. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What a great text we oh, have for yeah. us today. Yes. And we are finding here a beginning of the fulfillment of a promise yes. that God made to Joshua way back in chapter 1 of this same book, verses 1 through 5. God indicated by way of a promise. Mm -hmm. He said, now after the death of Moses, mm -hmm. the servant of the Lord came to pass, the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses is minister saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Yeah. Yeah. He said, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, mm -hmm. that's River Jordan, mm -hmm. thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, yes. that have I given unto you as I said unto Moses. Well. Mm -hmm. Even from the wilderness and this Lebanon, that would be in the north, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, that would be in the east. All the lands of the Hittites, that would be over in the west. Hmm. And unto the great sea, that's the Mediterranean, mm -hmm. toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. Mm -hmm. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I'll be with thee. All right. Uh, I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Yes. Be strong and of good courage. Yes. For unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto thy fathers to give thee. In other words, God swore on his hope that he was going to give uh, them the land, mm -hmm. including Jericho. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, only be thou strong and very courageous. Thou mayest observe to do according to the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. Yes. That thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Right, right. This book of the law mm -hmm. shall not depart out of thy mouth. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt meditate therein both day and night. Yes. Uh, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then. Thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then yeah. thou shalt have good success. Yes, yes sir. So God gave him a formula for success. Yes, yes sir. Right. God promised that he was going to give them Jericho. Yes, sir. And uh, the Bible indicates that God was getting ready now to send the spies to spy out Canaan in yes. that portion of Canaan. Being Jericho, the biggest challenge they had was the first challenge. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. God let them know <laughs> that he would keep his word. Yes. Because he's a promise keeping God. Yes, he is. And man, they fail in their promises. Yes. 
Maverick, if it was Peter who said the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Some men count slack. Yes, sir. But is long suffering to us, but not willing that any should perish. But all should come unto repentance. And so here in this place, we recognize that God is going to keep a promise. And uh, he's not going to throw the wall down until you get to chapter 6. He's going to have the Israelites bearing the Ark of the Covenant, the right. priests. Right. And in that Ark, he would have three precious articles by right. yes. uh, the commandments, a pot of manna, yeah, right. uh, and at the rod, which was Aaron's rod, right. yes, sir. representing God's authority. Yes. And Amen. he's saying, now, go around because... I have given you this city yes. and the great men of valor. Right. He said, go around yes. because it's already yours. Amen. Amen. Right. But go around one day, mm -hmm. each day for six, six days. days. Right. But yes, on sir. the seventh day, yes. Yes, sir. go around seven times. Right. And after they blow the trumpet, yes, sir. the walls will fall down. Right. Yeah. Yes. And so yes. then the little children in vacation Bible school uh -huh. are singing the song. Joshua fought the battle of yeah. Jericho. Yes, sir. Jericho and the walls yes, came sir. tumbling down. down. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. But in the meantime, he told these spies, Joshua commissioned them, right. go now and search out the land. Bring That's me the right. report back. Right, right. And they went and God uh, positioned them, uh -huh. purposely positioned them right. to end up in Rahab's house. Right. Yeah. I want you to underscore that because this woman had a reputation. Oh, yeah. And uh, God was looking through, uh, dealing with her, not through her character, right. but through her faith. Right. 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 To right. recognize right. Yes, how he was going to eventually save the nation. Right. Yes. And she'd have a a part in it. Yeah. And so God knew what he was doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so they, they went over there in the background to this lesson and uh, they stopped at this house of this woman and she took them up to the top of the house yeah. and hid them under the flack of stalks mm -hmm. that she had up there dried out yeah. because it was a type of bed covering right. once it was dried out so she had him up there, and uh, God is recognizing her faith. Oh, you know, right. there are rewards to faith. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because he said well in Hebrews 11. That's it, that's it, that's it. For it. without faith, it's it is impossible to believe God. God. He that cometh to God yeah. must believe that yeah. he is, and he is a reward. Yes, sir. Them that diligently seek him. Yeah. And so here it is that she's there. She's a woman of faith, hmm. and she is very significant when we read the New Testament because we find that she was a prostitute. Right. Mm. So now there are those commentators that say that she was an innkeeper. Mm. In other words, she uh, had to make sure the laundry was done. Well. Uh, and uh, the beds were all made up. The place was kept clean. They're well. trying to renew, you know, the yeah. scripture. Uh, yeah. But God doesn't need any overhaul. No, and sir. All we need to do is accept it the way it is. Amen. Amen. Now, God said she was a prostitute. Right. Somebody said, where is that in the Bible? Yeah, Back yeah. to the Bible. I, go. <laughs> I want to show you in Hebrews 11, 31 yeah, that the Bible it's says, there. notice the faith of Rahab. Uh -huh. She did not perish with those who did not believe when she had received the spies with peace. Uh, the Bible says, the harlot Rahab. Right, right, right. I want you to underscore that. The harlot Rahab. Yes, God didn't beat around the bush. Uh -oh. He called her through the inspiration of God a harlot. Right, because right. that's what she was. Right, right. Right. God used her own purpose yes, to right. show that he can take us from where we are to where we need to be. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, as I look at this, we read also about her testimony uh -huh. and uh, a faith to the spies up on the roof of the house uh -huh. in Joshua 2, 8 and 9. And uh, she declared before they laid down, the Holy Spirit put that before they went to bed. Right. She went up and came up to them on the roof and said, Now I know 
that the Lord has given you <laughs> the land That's that right. yes, now, sir. because the terror of you has fallen on us right. and that all inhabitants of the land are faint hearted because of you. She said, now notice verse 10 and 11. We heard. See, that's how faith comes. Right. 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 We heard and yes, right. heard yeah. about the works of God and the miracles. Yeah. Right. Right. She said, we heard how the waters of the Red Sea uh, were dried up. And what your God did in bringing you through on dry ground. Yes. All right. uh, and I'm here to tell you that uh, sometimes people look at that because it was an extraordinary miracle. And Brother Rochelle, one of my students said to me one day, said that he was always taught that uh, the walls were frozen. Uh -huh. That's the way they were able to stand up. Uh -huh. But you see, they didn't have to be frozen. Uh -huh. God can have uh -huh. yes, a liquid to, to, to coagulate right? yeah. and uh, stand out there. Yes, sir. And uh, he asked me in the classroom, said, uh, weren't those walls frozen? Uh. I said, no, because all you got to do is read the text. <laughs> and the text says that they walked across. Oh, it, was, uh, it didn't say they skated across. No. <laughs> they walked across it on dry ground. Yes, yes, because it. God did a mighty work yes, and it. he did a miracle. Yeah. The woman said, we heard about that. Uh -huh. And she said, and we heard what you did to the kings of the Amorites. Uh -huh. uh, Sihon and all. Yeah. And all being one of the giants. And God was a giant killer. Right. <laughs> we heard what your God did. Yes, right. And said, when you, we heard about it, our hearts did melt. Oh, and yeah. he said, and terror became, we panicked because of the fact it was no courage left in us right. because your God is a sovereign God. Oh, yes. God of heaven oh, yeah. and he's yes. God of earth. Yes. And so the faith was established and God recognizes his faith. Right. He started working on Rahab. Yes. I'm going to save Rahab. All right. But Rahab got to prove it and she's got to hide the messenger yes. up on the wall. Yes. And she hid them. But then she recognized danger was coming. Yeah. And she told him, you better, you better flee now. Yeah. And you yeah. go on by the mountains and the way by the forest right. across yeah. the Jordan right. yeah. where the water is slack. Right. Yeah. Get her back across the river. Yeah. And uh, she said, in so many words, I'll hold them off. All and right, God then. was looking at her faith. <laughs> yeah. her yes, sir. Because he <laughs> knew she was a prostitute. Yeah. But God is a God. He sits high. And look at her. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And he's dealing with her now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as he looks at her, he, uh -huh. he realizes that. She was uh, flawed in character. Uh, yes. In other words, she lied in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, uh, when uh, the Lord king sent uh, her messen his messengers uh, uh -huh. and said, inquire uh, from that woman yeah. and see if they're still at the house. Yeah. She said, no, but uh, as a matter of fact, They've been here, uh -huh. but they left. Um. And I'll tell you about what time. Yeah. She said, about the time of the shutting of the gate. <laughs> but in the meantime, right. they was on the top of the house. You're talking about lying. <laughs> she said, oh, no. I don't know where they went. Right, right. said, but if you go <laughs> out quickly, you yeah. might be yeah. able to take <laughs> So she was lying, you see. And uh, there were three women <laughs> that were called and written up in the hall of, of the oh, faith. Some them. call it the hall of fame. Yeah, right. yeah, and yeah. Three women. Yeah. And you'd be surprised. See, On that yeah. list, there was Sarah. Yeah. Uh, you remember 18th chapter? Come on, come on, yeah. come on. Okay. Genesis. Uh -huh. That's when the angels right. came down. Yeah. yeah. And uh, oh, Abraham said, huh. The, the least I can do yeah. is to get the servants and wash your feet yeah. so you can relax. Yeah, I sir. believe you know the story. Yeah. And, uh, and not only that, he told another, go kill a cat yeah. and get some buttermilk. Yes, uh -huh. so right out here. <laughs> Want to relax, say amen. And uh, amen. said another thing, <laughs> while they were eating up under the tree, yeah. uh, they began to talk to Abraham. Uh -huh. And uh, they said, where is Sarah? Yeah. Because she was hiding and eavesdropping yeah. behind yeah. the tent right. door. Yeah, and that's what she was. And uh, they made a statement. I believe one was actually the Lord in his uh -huh. prehistoric state. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was called the Lord. Uh -huh. And uh, 
He said, uh, this time next year, mm -hmm. Sarah is going to have a son. Yeah. We're going to have a bouncing baby. Right. right. <laughs> he said, this time next year, uh -huh. God is going to do it. Uh -huh. Oh, Sarah was so enthralled yeah. and overwhelmed yeah. until she laughed out. Yes, she did. She laughed behind the table. Yes, yeah, she did. And say, after we have waxed old and I'm old and my husband old, <laughs> right, right. shall we have pleasure again and uh -huh. yeah. bring forth a child? Yeah. Say, this is too much. Too much. Too much. No, too much. we can't do that. No. And uh, God said she laughed yeah. because she was afraid. Right. Yeah. But at that time, she was turning 89. How yeah. do you know that? Because she had the baby one year later. Uh -huh. She was 90. Nice. Yes, right. And brother. so God, and that time next year, she had a bouncing baby boy. Yes, she did. By the name of Isaac. Yes, she did. And his name meant laughter. laughter. And yeah. every time she called his name, oh, yeah. she had to remember how she laughed. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And so brother. we recognize that her name was on the list. Yeah. And uh, another thing about it, we find that the Bible says the woman that was called uh, Sarah's uh, rather Pharaoh's daughter. Uh -huh. You see, this is the one that raised up Moses, Moses. in the palace. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And uh, her name was on the list. Right? All right. And so there she is. She's in good company. Yes, now. Lord. And on the list. Right. But then God wasn't finished with her. Yeah. Said if she can do this thing, I'm going to put her in the Hall of Fame. Right. <laughs> yeah, not only in the Hall of Fame, but I'm going to put her name on the genealogy. All right. Right. She's coming down through <laughs> where Christ is coming. Yeah. And yeah. there are going to be five women. Yeah. And her name is going to be one of them. All yeah. right. But I'm going to bring her down and Jesus down through these women uh -huh. yeah. and 42 right. generations. 42 right. generations. Walking down. Come on, brother. Three. God put three halves. <laughs> yes, yeah, he did. Oh, yes. Somebody <laughs> said, brother, Foster, can you get through those generations? Back to the Bible, I go. Back to but the in Bible. order for us to look at it, I want you to stand on your feet. And I want to challenge your minds in my few minutes this evening. Uh, by when I go through one of the women, now we're looking for five. Yeah. You raise your hand. As a matter of fact, raise both hands when I come across one of the five women. All Our right. task is not completed right. until we go through five of the women uh -huh. that uh, was on the Hall of, right. of, of the Faithful and in the genealogy. All right. Now watch it now. And so the Bible says this is the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. the son of David, the son of Abraham. Right. Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac uh -huh. begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judas and his brethren. Uh -huh. Judas begot Phares and Zerah of Phamar. Yes, sir. Raise your hand. That's the first one. <laughs> Phamar, you, you can read about her in the 38th chapter. I don't have time to give you all the details. That's it. And, 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 and uh, Phamar. And so, uh, Aminadab, Nelson, Salmon, right. Boaz oh, of right. Rahab. Right. Raise your hand. Right. Boaz of right. Rahab. Right. Yeah. We got Obed of Ruth. Ruth, raise your hand. So you got three now. Right. Obed of Ruth and Obed of Ruth. We got uh, Jesse and Jesse begot David the David. king. And David the king begot Solomon of her right. that had been the wife of Uriah. Yeah, right. That would be Bathsheba. Right. Yeah, right. Right. And Solomon begot Rehoboam. And Rehoboam begot Abiah. And Abiah oh, begot sir. Esau. Pretty. Esau begot Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat begot Joram. Joram begot Osias. And Osias yes, begot Joachim. Joachim begot Achaz. And Achaz begot Ezekiel. Ezekiel begot yes, sir. Manasseh begot Amos. Amos begot Josiah. Right. Josiah begot Jeconiah. And the like the time they were captured. When they were brought to Babylon, Jeconiah begot Zelethiel. Zelethiel begot Jerubbabel. Zerubbabel begot Abiel. Abiel begot Elihim. Elihim begot Elihim. Elihim begot Elihim. Elihim begot Elihim. Elihim begot Elihim. We got eight shoes. Come on, son. We got eight shoes. We got eight shoes. We got eight shoes. We got eight shoes. We got eight We got eight shoes. We got eight shoes. We got eight We got eight shoes. We got eight shoes. We got eight We got eight We got eight We got eight shoes. We got eight shoes. We got eight We got eight shoes. 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 We got Amen. 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 Wait just a minute. So these 
of the generations of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Uh, from uh, Abraham to David was 14 generations. From David to the carrying away to Babylon were 14 generations. From the carrying away to Babylon under Christ were 14 generations. You do the math. You better than I in the math. Uh, you got 14 times 3, and you multiply 14 times 3. You got 42 generations. Yeah. Jesus stepped down yes, from 42 generations. Yes, sir. And don't you see, Rahab's name yeah. was on the list. God was showing, I'm not through with you yet. And God is a mighty good God. Yes, sir. And then, Somebody said you've done all this preaching. You didn't even tell us what your subject was. Hold the phone, hold the phone. And when the spies out left, don't you see? And they made a covenant with Rahab. And they said, I, we want you to spare us because we know that your terror is coming up yes, on this city. Yes. And you're going to destroy it because God said it. But if you would make this truce with me, mm. that you would spare me and my life. Yes. Yes. She said, what, said, what I want to do is to form this covenant. And this would be the token. I want you to put a scarlet card and right. hang it hey. in the window. Right. Say yes. amen. <laughs> and when we see but the scarlet card, right. then we'll know to pass your house. Yes. It's on the side of the wall yes, of the Jericho wall. <laughs> Say amen. But God said, all right now. And uh, they left, but it was a scarlet card. Right, right, right. Now, just inquiring, what's your favorite cut? <laughs> Somebody might say brown or yeah. blue or green. Uh -huh. But in this case, that wouldn't get it. Mm -hmm. It's got to be scarlet. Right. Somebody said, why scarlet? Yeah. Because that's a reddish cut. Yeah. Right. How do you know? Isaiah was told a long time ago. Yes, sir. Isaiah yes, sir. 118. Yes, sir. Come down and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet. He said they're going to be as white as snow. Though they be like crimson, they shall be as wool. If they're red like crimson, don't you see? Why? Because crimson and scarlet came from the same Hebrew word. And it meant a reddish color. So why did God put the red color in that? Because the Bible teaches in, in what you might call uh, acts or symbols and artifacts. In yeah. other words, what is it talking about? Yeah. Types and antitypes. Yeah. And so you got a type. This had to be the yeah. scarlet card yeah. hug, hold, hugging close Bring to it, the yeah. house yes, that sir. was right. going to be saved. Right. I got a feeling, I got a feeling that that's tough and agreeing with the blood. Hey, that's that's it. It. Hugging close. To the house of God is yes, yes, sir. Somebody yes. said, Where is that in the Bible? Yes. Back to the Bible. Yes. I know. I want you to know God is going to save a house today, yes. but not everybody in it because He's going to separate yes. the sheep from yes. the goat. Yes. Say yes. 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 Now, somebody said, What do you got there? He's going to save the house. Well, that was uh, the blood given concerning this house. Uh -huh. Acts 20 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves uh -huh. and over uh -huh. all the flock, over the which the Holy Ghost and made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. Yes, there's a blood bought <laughs> today that he bought with his own blood. That's the church of Christ. Yeah. Say amen if you can. Oh, I'm trying to close now. But I remember preaching a funeral. I had to attend the funeral. And uh, if you know that area of the country where I live, I live in a place called Terra. Uh -huh. But the funeral was up in Tyler, uh -huh. which was 80 miles uh -huh. east. Yeah. And I had to go up. But the person was, don't you see, I was the mother of one of the members where I preach. Okay. And she was a member of the Church of God Pentecostal. Okay. And I had to go up there. And uh, as I was up there, I was the only gospel preacher mm -hmm. in the line of getting ready to go out. <laughs> and uh, the man uh, from the Pentecostal church mm -hmm. was trying to pick on me. I know he was. Yeah. Because yeah. he said, I want uh, everybody mm -hmm. who's not a member of the church of God mm -hmm. to get back what? in the line. What he was say? trying to disfavor me. Wow. But the more he talked, the more I nudged him. Close <laughs> to him, don't you see? Close to him. But he was trying to get me to back up. Yeah. And he said, I say again, mm. if you're not church of God, 
get back in the line. I got up close to him. He saw that I would not renew him, but I was close to him. Yeah. And he gave up. But I don't know what was in the bishop's mind, uh -huh. but I know what was in my mind. Come on, sir. And uh, when he said Church of God, yeah. I felt if anybody. And so I nudged on up. When we went in two by two, I walked right in with the bishop. Say amen. Yeah. Pray the Lord. Because the church of Christ is the church of God. Say amen. Yeah. 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 It's God yeah. that had the blood in his body yeah. that helped the, the church with his own blood. Yeah. And uh, they told Rahab, uh -huh. said, now, if you want to be saved, you better be found in the house. Uh -huh. When we come by, and get all your kinfolk mm -hmm. in the house. Uh -huh. And those that are out in the street, I want you to get in the house. Yes, yes, sir. I want to tell you today, if you're out in the street, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. come in the house. Yes, Save yes, as you can. Yes, come in the house. Yes. And uh, another thing, while I'm long here, I want you to know God has a house. Yes, Somebody sir. said, where is this house? Yes. Well, the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, uh -huh. uh, verse 15 and 16, yes. he said, but if I tear it alone, yes. that yes. thou may know how yes. thou ought to be, I said, in the house of God, yes. which is the church of the living God. Come on, the he said pillar the, the pillar of the ground That's of it. the truth. That's it. Now, notice he didn't say pillow. He, he said the pillar. pillar. Yes. <laughs> And the growth of the truth. And without controversy, great is the mystery of God. God manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached among the Gentiles, received up in the glory. Say amen. That house belongs to him. Somebody says, do we all got to get in the same house? And there was a time when the, the Jew and the Gentiles were trying to have different houses. Right. Yeah. Right. God yeah. had to do something. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I've got to go to Calvary. I'm going to walk to Copper Stone. That's Where it. am That's I going? Right. i got to go to Calvary. Right. And I'm going to tear down the middle wall of petition. Yes, and I'm going to bring the Jews and the Gentiles <laughs> together <laughs> in one Why church. Not? Somebody yeah. said, are you making all this up? Mm -hmm. Or is that the word of God? <laughs> of the Bible. I, 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 right. He said in Ephesians 2.11, Remember that you've been in time past Gentiles in, in the, the flesh, flesh. Yes, right. called uncircumcision by right. that which is called circumcision in the flesh yes, made by hand that at that time you were without Christ being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope without God in this world but now where in Christ Jesus you who sometimes were far off but made not by the blood of Christ for these are peace who had made both one hope Therefore, you know, most strangers in yes, the world, but God, and built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself, of being the chief cornerstone. Say amen! amen. amen. you promised yeah. and uh, whoever is in the house with her Come as on. long as herself yeah. I want you to bring them out to save her. Say amen if you can. Yeah. And they looked around she saved the mama yeah. and she yeah. saved her yes, sir. Yes, sir. She saved the brother yeah. and she saved the sisters. She saved yes, the relatives. Yeah. They were out of the street yeah. and they were in the house. Yeah. If you want to be saved you need yeah. to be in the house. Yeah. The Bible says in Ephesians 5 and 23, for as the husband is the head of the wife, so Christ is the head of the church, and he's the savior of the body. If you want to be saved, you need to be in the body. If you want to be saved, you need to be in the house. What is the body? In Colossians 1 18, he's the head of the body of the church. Who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he, Christ, might have the preeminent. Yes! And they came and they rescued her. In, and everybody that she had in the house, 
and uh, they took the silver and the gold and the iron right. and they brought uh, it and put it in the treasure of yeah. God. Say yeah. amen. Right. But they saved her because of faith right. saved her. Right. And uh, right. what did it? What did was their sign when they came over? Uh -huh. They saw the scarlet cord. The scarlet cord hanging in the window. <laughs> yes, my friend. Don't you want to identify with the blood? Yes, sir. It's a black vulture. Yes, sir. I stayed it when I die. Well, until I die. Why? Because it is black vulture. Amen. And it's Holy Spirit filled. Yes, it and is. And it's hell proof. Yes, sir. It's glory bound. Yes, Amen. Amen. All the Bible is right. Amen. And if you want to be saved today, uh, you need to come to that church that is identified by the blood, yes, and you can understand then the scarlet cord yes, that was sir. hanging in the room. Yes, sir. We're gonna ask you to come yes, sir. right now. Yes, sir. While we stand to sing this song. Yes, yes. How you know?
tell you, oh, I'm a minister of the church, and yeah. nothing is it this way like I'm telling you every time you turn around. I can barely get out of town. Right. 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 I said, brother, you know, sister so-and-so passed. Right. My right. wife and me jumping here and there and doing this, and people are dying, and you look around, and and uh, you know our time is coming. Our time is coming. And so right now, as he told Hezekiah, he said, set your house in order. Because you're going to die and not leave. Oh, we are asking you to come. The gospel is God's power. This is his power to say. We're asking you to walk out on it now while we sing this last song for today of the invitation. Won't you come quickly? Without you, Lord, without you, Lord, I can't make it. Without you, Lord, if there was a time I was living in sin.
Let us pray. Father God, we come to you at this time in the name of Jesus Christ as we approach your throne and your grace and mercy. Father God, we only come in the way that we know how and as humble as we possibly can. We come on behalf of Brother Foster, who will be laboring here this week. We ask you to bless him in the areas that he stands in need of. Strengthen him in spirit as he study your words to encourage our hearts. And we pray for Brother Rochelle and those who are working with him at this church in Warren, Arkansas, that you will continue to help them and guide them as we all are strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Yeah. Yeah. And Father God, we pray that your word may be expounded upon so hard and in such a way on this week that many souls may come asking what must they do that they may be saved. Yeah. And Father God, we pray for those who are bereaved this day yeah. that you will comfort their heart in the time of their bereavement. Yeah. And Father God, when we have done all that we can do, yeah and said all that we can say yeah. and move and walk as far as we can move and walk. Yeah. When we stand before you on that great and noble day, perhaps we all may hear you say, well done, yeah. thou good and faithful servant. Yeah. And we pray this on this afternoon in the name of he who walked the cobblestone streets of Jerusalem, yeah. the same one that called Lazarus from the grave, yeah. <laughs> the same one that hung on the pass of bullion for your sins and our sins. Father God, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.